Hospital Porter's pride and dignity stop the New World Order. Welcome to Her Panwo TV. Well, today we're doing a kind of um, Her Panwo TV, what the papers say. <coughs> you know, the sort we have on the news programmes where Polly Toynbee or somebody comes and sits in the studio and um, runs through the papers and explains what she thinks of them, you know. Anyway, today you've got me. And today we're going to review this absolute bastion of quality British journalism, The Sun. You know, crossbow cannibal, few what a loony. But there's much more interesting stories in here. It's this one here. Cash cuts will risk an Olympic outrage. I'd like to thank Kubaz, uh, my YouTube buddy, who's brought this to my attention. What it's basically saying is the uh, former security minister, Lord West, they've got to have a security minister, haven't they? I mean, you've got to have, you're not in government nowadays unless you have a security minister says that the Al-Qaeda bombers plan to wreak havoc, or they could wreak havoc at the 2012 London Olympics if security cuts in the security services, that's the intelligence um, things, could have their way. Um, well, of course, I mean, um, this is hardly news, is it? I mean, the 2012 Olympics is bound to be a, a, a prime target for any kind of attack by whoever wishes to attack us. Um, it says here, this is very funny here, it says, Lord West believes that Al-Qaeda Al -Qaeda chief Osama bin Laden could target the Olympics. Um, well, no, he couldn't, because he died in 2002. Um, that's right. Um, if you actually look through YouTube, you can actually hear, you can actually find out um, how this happened. He was, he, he was died in 2002. He either died of kidney failure or he was murdered. There's a very interesting interview with um, Benazir Bhutto just before she was murdered um, with David Frost and um, she actually refers to the man who killed Osama bin Laden and the strange thing is David Frost sort of just doesn't seem to hear her. You think he'd go, what? What did you just say? Say that again? Explain. But no, you don't get that. Frost just carries on with the next question, you know, and um, he's very, very experienced and um, one of the most experienced and respected journalists in the world. But um, he just doesn't pick up on it, which is really strange. Um, yeah, Bin Laden died. All those videos you see of him are fake. They're actors. They don't even look like him now, some of them. You know, they, they, big, they bring in big fat guys and stuff like that, people with different colored beards, even sort of reddish kind of beards, you know. Um, there's, um, the, the truth is the matter is they say Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda doesn't exist. All right, this will not be news to some of you. Al-Qaeda is simply a name for a list of intelligence assets during the um, Soviet occupation of Afghanistan, um, CIA and MI5 intelligence assets, um, of which Bin Laden was one. <coughs> so uh, don't fall for that at all, either. Um, all, all the major terrorist attacks, every single one of the major terrorist attacks in the last few years have been black budget, government, military operations. They've not been done by guys with rucksacks and DIY tools who blow themselves up for martyrdom. All right? So whatever happens, what will happen at the Olympics is if, if this is this is a real danger. You know, the real danger is not from these fanat Muslim fanatics, even though these Muslim fanatics do exist and they do blow up. They blow themselves up on Israeli buses and things like that. Yes, they do exist. But the real danger is like I say, elsewhere. Now, the Sun says, like in the opinion column, it actually says here, um, save our spies, and they say it's wrong. It's wrong to cut the security services because this is a dangerous place, increasingly dangerous, where terrorist enemies boast they love martyrdom of death. You know, um, we're the top target. Britain is the top target during the London 2012 Olympics. Well, that's true, actually. Britain is the top, would probably be a priority target for a black budget military operation, a false flag attack. Okay. If one of these false flag attacks occurs, just pause for a minute. Don't believe it. Don't believe the hype. Don't automatically go along with whoever the government blame. Think who might really behind, be behind it. And even if it's something as extreme as like an alien invasion, which is always a possibility, I mean, they may be planning for an alien attack or to fake an alien attack. Okay, so, so like I said, be, be wise, be broad-minded, and don't panic, okay? There we are, that's the old current bun review. 
Well, thanks for watching Hapanwell TV. Hospital Ports Pride and Dignity stop the New World Order.